The strategic landscape of the Indo-Pacific region as of early 2026 is defined by a rapid technological arms race where traditional naval power is being challenged by a new era of autonomous, asymmetric warfare. At the center of this shift is the emergence of the Ghost Shark, an extra-large autonomous underwater vehicle developed in Sydney, which stands as a direct technological counterweight to the mass and muscle of the People's Liberation Army Navy's Type 055 Renhai class destroyer. This intersection of military hardware represents more than just a competition between two platforms. It is a fundamental clash between the philosophy of concentrated surface power and the strategy of distributed, invisible persistence. The January 2026 delivery of the first production-ready Ghost Shark units to the Royal Australian Navy marks a pivotal moment for the Australian defense industry. Developed through a partnership between Andro Australia and the Australian government, the program has moved from concept to hardware in less than three years, a timeline that contrasts sharply with the decades-long procurement cycles of the past. Valued at approximately 1.7 billion Australian dollars for the initial fleet, the Ghost Shark is designed to be a sovereign capability meaning its intellectual property and production remain entirely within Australian borders. This autonomy is crucial for a nation that has historically relied on overseas suppliers for its most advanced military assets. Technically, the Ghost Shark offers capabilities that traditional crude submarines cannot match. It is designed to operate at depths of up to 6,000 meters, providing a vertical sanctuary that is largely inaccessible to most modern sonar systems. Powered by the Lattice Artificial Intelligence Operating System, the vehicle can navigate complex underwater environments for 10 days at a time without human intervention. From a strategic perspective, the Ghost Shark is not intended to replace the upcoming nuclear-powered submarines of the AUKUS Pact, but rather to act as a force multiplier. Its primary roles include long-range persistent intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, as well as the capacity to lay smart mines or deploy smaller autonomous sensors along critical maritime choke points. In stark contrast, the Chinese Type 055 destroyer represents the pinnacle of conventional naval engineering. Entering its second batch of production in early 2026, the Type 055 is a 12,000 ton behemoth that functions as the primary shield for Chinese carrier strike groups. With 112 vertical launch system cells, it possesses a staggering amount of firepower, including the YJ-21 hypersonic anti-ship missile, which was prominently tested in late 2025. The ship's dual-band radar system is arguably the most advanced on any surface vessel globally, designed to track multiple threats from stealth aircraft to incoming ballistic missiles. However, the very size and cost of the Type 055, which exceeds one billion US dollars per unit, make it a high value target in a theater increasingly dominated by low cost, high lethality autonomous systems. The tactical engagement between these two assets highlights a significant asymmetric gap. While the Type 055 is designed to dominate the surface and the air, its underwater defenses rely on hull-mounted sonar and towed arrays that are optimized for detecting large, noisy targets like traditional diesel electric or nuclear submarines. The Ghost Shark, by virtue of its smaller size, lack of life support systems, and quiet electric propulsion, presents a negligible acoustic signature. In a hypothetical conflict scenario, a swarm of ghost sharks, 
costing a fraction of a single Type 055, could saturate the destroyer's sensors. These autonomous vehicles could remain stationary on the seabed for weeks, waiting for a high-value target to pass over a pre-deployed minefield or using low-frequency signals to paint the destroyer for a long-range strike by Australian F-35A aircraft or Tomahawk missiles. For the Australian public and strategic planners, the Ghost Shark program addresses the long-standing concern of value for money in defense spending. The Australian Defense Force is a relatively small organization that faces the tyranny of distance across the vast Indo-Pacific. Manpower shortages are a chronic issue. Therefore, the ability to deploy dozens of lethal autonomous platforms that do not require crews is a game changer. By investing 1.7 billion Australian dollars into a domestic production line, the government is not only securing its maritime borders, but also fostering a high-tech industrial base that can export these systems to allies. This shift suggests that the future of Australian defense is no longer about matching a superpower ship for ship, but about making the cost of entry into Australian waters prohibitively high for any adversary. The Chinese military response to these developments has been a renewed focus on its own autonomous underwater programs. Throughout late 2025, intelligence reports indicated that the People's Liberation Army Navy is accelerating the development of its HSU-001 large autonomous underwater vehicles to counter the AUKUS advantage. This creates a shadow war beneath the waves where autonomous systems from both sides will likely engage in a constant cycle of cat and mouse mapping each other's sensors and testing the limits of AI-driven navigation. The Type 055, while still a formidable symbol of national prestige and power, must now operate in an environment where its presence is constantly monitored by eyes that it cannot see and cannot easily destroy. Furthermore, the strategic utility of the Ghost Shark extends into the realm of gray zone warfare. Because the vehicle is uncrewed and relatively expendable compared to a multi-billion dollar ship, it can be used for high-risk missions in contested waters where a human crewed vessel might cause a diplomatic or military escalation if intercepted. This provides the Australian government with a flexible tool for asserting maritime rights in areas like the South China Sea or the Pacific Island chains without immediately putting Australian lives at risk. The ability to maintain a persistent presence in these waters, regardless of the weather or surface conditions, provides a level of situational awareness that was previously impossible for a mid-sized power. The emergence of the ghost shark also signals a change in the relationship between the Australian government and its traditional allies. Under Pillar 2 of the AUKUS Agreement, there is a heavy emphasis on advanced technology sharing, including AI and autonomous systems. The success of the Ghost Shark is being viewed by Washington and London as a model for rapid innovation. It demonstrates that Australia can contribute significant high-end technology to the Alliance, moving beyond its traditional role as a regional security provider and into the role of a global defense innovator. This strengthens the strategic moat around the continent, ensuring that any naval force, regardless of its size or sophistication, must contend with a layered defense that starts thousands of kilometers from the Australian coastline. Ultimately, the comparison between the Ghost Shark and the Type 055 reveals the evolving nature of maritime deterrence. The Type 055 is a product of the late 20th century mindset, a massive 
centralized platform designed for power projection. The Ghost Shark is a product of the 21st century, a decentralized, intelligent, and invisible network designed for denial. As the year 2026 progresses, the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific will likely be determined not by who has the largest ships, but by who can most effectively integrate artificial intelligence and autonomous systems into their naval doctrine. The Ghost Shark represents Australia's commitment to this new reality, ensuring that its sovereign interests are protected by a force that is as silent as it is lethal.